hey guys so today we're making some million dollar dip please make sure you like share comment and subscribe let's get started with the recipe so i'm gonna start by chopping up some smoked turkey lunch meat you can use whatever brand you want if you want to use some ham you can use that um, but for the million dollar dip also known as the neiman marcus dip typically uh, people use some bacon for that recipe but um, I am making this for people who do not eat pork. So we are using some turkey lunch meat instead. And so next I'm gonna chop up some green onions and I am just gonna thinly slice um, the green onions. And so this recipe only calls for a few ingredients. And you guys have seen me make a similar recipe. I made it with shrimp the last time I made it. Um, and you can check that out. I'll be sure to link that video in the description box below. Um, but next I am going to shred up eight ounces of some mild cheddar cheese You could use sharp cheddar if you want um, But I'm just gonna shred this up and yeah again, this only takes like five Ingredients like this is super simple. It's the perfect appetizer for game day or for Any party you're hosting or anything like that. And so I am using two um, blocks of cream cheese and then I'm also going to add in some mayonnaise and then I'm just going to mix that up. And make sure your cream cheese is at room temperature. Mine was not, so I was on the struggle bus as I mixed up this cream cheese. Um, but you're just going to mix this together. And for the uh, million dollar dip, you know, originally it is made with just mayo. But I'm using a combination of mayonnaise and cream cheese. Um, but if you want to just do mayonnaise, you could. And so I'm going to add in my cheese, my green onions, and my lunch meat. And I'm just going to stir this together. And this is super simple, guys. I'm going to add in the juice of one lemon just for some freshness. And I'm adding in a little bit of salt and pepper. But you can really omit the salt because the lunch meat and the cheese already have salt in it. So I really didn't need that salt. Um, and I'm just going to stir this together and then I'm going to add in a little bit of smoked paprika. Um, but yeah, y'all, this is pretty simple. And I'm just going to serve this with some crackers, uh, some tortilla chips, some pita chips. You can serve it with some vegetables. Um, it's best served um, room temperature, like when it's softened already, already uh, because it's easier to spread. Um, but you're going to taste as you go. And again, if you want to just use bacon or a different meat, you could do that. And so this is the finished product, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.